Hi, I'm John Kelsey. I'm course director of the RICS accredited MSc in Construction Economics and Management, which we offer here at the Bartlett School of Construction and Project Management. The CEM course is fundamentally about the economics, finance and management of construction projects, construction firms and the construction industry. In terms of previous degree, you don't have to have a specialist first degree in economics and finance. We're looking for people who want to be major players, leaders and uh, policy makers in the construction industry and in the related fields. They should get an understanding of the deeper forces and the more strategic forces which govern the way the construction industry works. We have uh, eight taught modules. Four of those are compulsory and four are optional, which allows you quite a lot of flexibility in choosing where you wish to go. For instance, we do a module on the economics of speculative property development. So if you're interested in becoming a property developer, that might suit you. A surprisingly large number want to start their own business, either with or without uh, years of employed experience. And we hope that the course gives them the skills both to work in a major organisation, but also to run their own business. We like to keep up with contemporary industrial and professional practice. And we have people in from those areas who can give you the benefit of their advice and wisdom in dealing with today's industry and all of its complex problems. We have textbooks, obviously, and you may well find that the author of the textbook is the person lecturing to you. We get quite a few students from China, as you might expect, also from India, from the Middle East, uh, Latin America, and some from Europe as well. We get a number of people who are rather more experienced and obviously older, and that adds a very good mix to the student experience. A lot of our alumni go into contractors, obviously consultants, uh, but also into major clients such as banks or retailers, and uh, some end up working indeed for government or in academia. 